Well, Purr from the Purgatory server for City Heroes is at again. She has added in new power sets and more. I'm Controlled Chaos and in this video, I'm going to go over those and let you know what they're all about. And you want to stay till the end so you hear an interesting story about how I found out about this update since I've been so busy. First power set that's added in is for the blaster. It's the ranged, it's called Dark Fire. It's taking Dark Blast and Fire Blast and putting them together. No, this isn't mixing them together. It's you get to choose what powers you want from Dark Blast and Fire Blast to really customize out your character, which is nice. And that's what a majority of these are. Now, we also have new blaster support. We have dark fire manipulation which is darkness manipulation and fire manipulation which is really cool then we also have fire time which is fire manipulation and time manipulation now we're going to move on to the next archetype we have a new setups for scrapper melees we have titan strength which takes titan weapons and super strength and adds them together. And I think this is a really, really good one because in order to wield those really big Titan weapons, you have to be strong. So putting in super strength with that and being able to mix that up is really nice. Then we have fiery strength, which is fire manipulation and super strength. Next, we have the scrapper defense. They add super willpower, which is super reflex and willpower. They're very similar in the way they work with giving you some advantages of dodging and things like that. Willpower adds a little bit more to it in defenses and being sort of able to take the punch, which combined to sort of makes it as a really good dodger that when you do get hit, you can take the punch. I like that. Next up, and this is the ones that really interest me, is they've added new mastermind setups. They've added in for the summoning, demon fire summoning. Basically, they took the whip attacks and replaced it with fire blast attacks. So if you're wanting more with a demon summoner that deals with fire and not having the whip, there you go. The next one is Demon Ice Summoning, replacing the whip with uh, Ice Blast. So that you can have more of that Ice Demon feel since the Demon Summoner can summon both Fire Demons and Ice Demons. You can play to your advantage of what kind of demonized character you have. And I like that feel. I like the thought behind that. That is creativity in being able to customize your Demon Summoner even more and make it your own next we have the buffs for both masterminds and controllers they call it druidic bond it's nature affinity plus storm summoning and this is really good because if you're wanting to have a druidic character you normally have to choose okay do i want to go nature's affinity or do i want to go storm and that's sort of the problem there, is picking between the two. However, with putting this in, you no longer have to pick between the two. You can choose what powers you want from Storm, what powers you want from Nature's Affinity, which is really, really nice. And in the fact that they also put this in the controller, because the secondary for Masterminds is what a secondary for controller has. And that's just a bonus. Now, what's really great is you can really strengthen up your druidic capabilities by going mastermind and choosing the beast mastermind. Not only that, on purgatory, you can do double beasts to where you have twice the amount of beasts out there. So instead of summoning at your very low level one wolf, you're able to summon two wolves. And you can actually get up to a total of six wolves going on. That is not including the dire wolf. You can also have a total of four of the lionesses and two of the dire wolves, which is really great. You can show your power and prowess in being a druid with this capability. And I love the fact that He's done this. The next thing that is even better and great for every player out there 
you know if you played on Purgatory, they give you the epic pool powers early on. You get access to them almost right away. What she has done here is she has unlocked all of the archetype epic pool powers for all of the archetypes. So you you don't have to just be like a melee and being stuck with the melee epic power pool. You now get access to the ranged epic power pools for blasters and things like that. And that is just awesome. I love this. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. It helps spread the word out there to others. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe. Let's get into the story. So how I found out about this was John, one of the guys who plays say Heroes and does a lot of streaming of that and is big in the Purgatory community. He was streaming, I jumped on, I was watching, I was working on some stuff and I decided to jump onto Purgatory chat and start chatting with them. That's when Pur brought up the whole entire thing of, oh, we have new Mastermind power sets because you know, I'd been eager to hear about these new combos and new stuff that she's been doing. When she informed me of this, I immediately stopped the work of what I was working on, which was a different Say Heroes video, which I will do next week. And I started working on this video. Excited. Why? Because it's new power sets. It's new ways to play City of Heroes. And I'd rather do a video on that than a video rehashing something that's been done in the past and just giving a new guide and a new twist on it. That's what I like about doing City Heroes and the City Heroes private service is it gives me that opportunity to let you guys know of these changes because I know a majority of you play on the homecoming server and sometimes these other servers do something else that make you sit there and go, hmm, Maybe I should try out that other server. That sounds interesting to me. And you should. I like being able to jump around these different servers and play with these different types of archetypes and power sets that these other servers are doing. It's fun. It's interesting. Yes, you can have your home server be that one server you have, but you can still branch out and play with other servers and you never know. You might find something interesting there that your other friends like and you might carry them over and the next thing you know, that other server becomes your home server. Don't be stuck on just one server. Go, play around, have fun, experiment with what these other servers are doing. Thank you for watching and have a great day.